Lynn D. Hutton, and I'm here at the incredibly impressive Sales Center for Festival Condos in the South Lawn Metropolitan Center. We're here to learn about the next phase, Grand at Festival. With me here today is Rachel from Corner Store Marketing. Thank you, Rachel, for being here today. Thank you so much. Rachel, can you tell us about the opportunity here investing in South Lawn Metropolitan Center, a city within a city? Absolutely. I mean, you paraphrase it perfectly, a city within a city. And that's what the South Lawn Metropolitan Center will be. Uh, nearly 160 acres of not just new housing, both low rise and high rise, but actually all of the supporting infrastructure that's so important to a downtown core. You're looking at 2.6 million square feet of new office space, over 400,000 square feet of indoor and outdoor shopping. And this is, I think, a truly unique component that you're definitely not gonna find in most downtowns. That's 45 acres of active outdoor spaces. 20 of those are dedicated to parkland and greenland. That sounds incredible. And why do you think that's important to the investor? Well, I think from an investment perspective, it's very rare that you get an opportunity to buy in a downtown core in the very early inception stages. Typically when you're buying downtown, it's a new project in an established community. But when you're buying in the South Vaughan Metropolitan Center, you're actually buying into a true comprehensive urban community. Every element from the office, the retail, the outdoor spaces, and even the mix of low rise and high rise housing has been thoughtfully designed to really be the downtown of the future. And your buyers are getting the chance to buy in at the very early stages. I think one of the critical components of this community is the transit hub here, the mobility hub. Can you tell us more about that? Very important. So it's more than just a TTC station. This is a tier one mobility hub. When uh, the transit line was extended to VMC station, a three minute walk away, two and a half if you're in a hurry. <laughs> um, it, it, I think it really changed the game. A transit hub is really a key factor in any major downtown core. London, Tokyo, New York, city of right. Toronto, and downtown Vaughan is no different. In addition to connecting you to the Line 1 subway, you're connected to Zoom Regional Transit, uh, York Regional Transit, and the Viva Express line. And just one stop south will connect you to the GO Bus services. So very thoughtfully designed. Absolutely. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about the partnership between the two builders? That's a great question because I think more now than ever, anybody can promise you a dream, but it's the who behind the dream that I think is so important because as realtors, the trust of your clients and the trust that you can put into a project is very important. And I think there's no two better names in Canadian real estate than Menkes and Quadriel. Uh, Menkes is one of Canada's largest private owned developers, exclusively building in the greater Toronto area for nearly 70 years. Uh, very active role in building up the Young and Shepherd right. corridor, as well as the downtown waterfront. Uh, they have a long history of building the best selling projects in Canada. Harbour Plaza, Sugar Wharf, um, Festival last year. Festival was the best selling project in Canada in all of 2020. And Through a pandemic. Through a pandemic and through the support of agents like yourself and Quadrille, one of the biggest real estate asset firms in the country. So these two names pack a very powerful punch and they're the driving force to this new downtown Vaughan vision. And we know that the partnership is important to take on a project of this magnitude. You want the expertise and the experience to develop something so mixed use. Absolutely. So now to tell us why we're here about Grand. What makes Grand? grand at festival? Good question. <laughs> Good question. We are so excited about grand at festival because you're not just getting two high rise towers, but the majority of the 70,000 square feet of immersive and indoor outdoor amenities. I mean, that's one of the most comprehensive amenity programs you'll find in a high rise community. They're located primarily underneath the grand towers. In addition to very important indoor amenities like a professional gym, uh, indoor water spa, children's playrooms. They're also including a lot of hobby-based uh, amenities, an artist room, a soundproof music rehearsal room. In the last year, I think buyers have really changed the tone about what they're looking for in a high-rise community. So having a lot of those active spaces, just an elevator trip down, I think is really important. And then the outdoor amenities. People really value their outdoor space now, especially just within their high rise development where you don't have to travel to enjoy it. Uh, things like an outdoor dog park, 
an outdoor movie theater and a lot of outdoor dining areas. So there's a lot of spaces I think designed for the new way people are evolving in how they live, work and play. Right, live, work and play right at your doorstep. Exactly. Like a true community. Tell us more about the height of the towers and the composition of the building. Absolutely, those are very important. Um, so the grand towers, you're looking at about 40 and 50 stories high, 1200 units. So this is a high density wow. development. And the product mix has been really designed to kind of appeal to investors, end users, every type of buyer profile. We're gonna have a lot of variety of one bedrooms that fall within that 500 square feet. The one bedroom plus dem product Think we know is very popular right uh, as long as the den is functional like a secondary living space you're going to have varieties with both one bedroom and two bedroom one thing that we really learned in the last year is that efficiently designed two bedrooms within the 700 square foot range so you still have a sharp price point every corner is essentially going to be a two bedroom corner unit very very efficiently designed so you'll have product for every type of buyer oh that's amazing um, so we've talked about South Bond Metropolitan Center, the partnership, Grand. Is there anything else you think we should focus on? I think the next thing to really focus on is just to make sure if you didn't get a chance to buy into festival right. last year, to make sure that you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to buy into the landmark project of the new downtown Vaughn. Make sure to connect with your platinum agent who has that trusted relationship with the builder and the marketing brokerage to make sure you're getting first access information, first access inventory, so you don't miss out. Great. And if you don't mind, let's walk around to one of the most impressive context models I've ever seen. And if you can walk us through it, that'd be I'd great. I'd be happy to. Wonderful. So we can't not talk about the outdoor spaces here. So tell me more about the parks in this community. Very important feature. One thing that makes the Vaughan Metropolitan Center, the South Vaughan Metropolitan Center so unique is that 45 acres are dedicated to active outdoor spaces, uh, 20 of which are dedicated purely to parkland and greenland. Now, when we say active spaces, this isn't just grass and trees. This is 17 kilometers of multi-use pass. This means biking trails, hiking trails, a rubberized running track that encircles the entire South Vaughan Metropolitan Center. This way, 12 months a year, 365 days a year, residents and their families can stay active and connect with nature. That's incredible. I think the one thing we've learned this past year is the appreciation of outdoor spaces. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Rachel, for all the information here. Grand Festival is launching very soon. To get first access to opening day pricing, plans, and incentives, contact me.